I've had several questions about how do you figure out what power supply to use for your project, you know, like a little electronic project or something like that. So I thought I'd just take a couple of seconds to kind of show you. And of course, I'm not an electrical engineer or anything, but this is what I've done for a very long time. So, uh, you know, you find these wall warts or little uh, transformers power, you know, almost everything we buy nowadays. And so every time I throw one of those pieces of equipment away, I keep the transformer off of it and just keep them in a box. And so then when I need one, I rarely have to buy it. And so you can see on this one right here, it says input 120 volts, AC, output DC 6 volts, 500 MA, which is six volts at 500 milliamps or a half an amp. So this will supply the output six volts at a half an amp. And you, it will run off of 120 volts. If we look at this one, it says that the input is anywhere from 100 to 240 volts. So that'll work for what I need and the output is 12 volts at 2 amps. Okay, so it's really very simple. You just need to make sure that it's the right voltage and then that the amperage is high enough to cover whatever it is that you're trying to power. And most things will tell you what they are. If not, um, you could figure it out by putting an amp meter on whatever it is that you're doing, but that's a whole nother video. So let me show you. So then you're, you're, you've got something like this and it's got an end on it like that. Okay. So you just cut that off and then strip those wires like this. And this one, this is a different one. Every transformer you find is going to tell you what it is on it. So I'm showing you these because the lettering is clear. A lot of times it's just kind of printed in black on there. It's kind of hard to see, but this one is 120 volts. Output is 12 volts DC at 200 milliamps or 0.2 amps. Then the other thing you've got to do when you hook this up is you strip those ends off and then you're going to check it. You're going to take a multimeter and make sure you've got it hooked up right. So this is the common. So you're going to put your black lead into there. Usually they're marked black and red. And then this is where the volt, you'd put it in for volts. And it's red and you put those in. Okay, now this transformer, I've plugged it in. So I'm going to turn on my multimeter and I'm going to set it for a voltage range that's correct. This is DC. Oh, that's the other thing you got to know. Sorry. So the other thing you got to know about these transformers. It says on here that this is 12 volts DC that it's going to put out. Sometimes it'll say 12 volts AC. If you're trying to run something that runs, normally runs on batteries, it's got to be DC. AC is not going to work for you. Okay, so I've set this to uh, the DC part of my meter, and now I'm going to hook it up. Just going to hold that on there and I'm getting 16.8 volts. Let me switch it over. That's one of the things you're going to find about these. Okay, and then I'm going to switch it over and I'm still getting 16.8 volts. Now notice now it has a minus sign right here. That means that I have it, basically I have it hooked up backwards. So I switch it back like this. Well, I just rolled it over the same, didn't I? Okay, so now if I do that, and it says 16 volts, there's no minus sign, so I know that this side right here is my positive, and this side right here is my negative, because this is my common off of there. So if you're hooking up to your project and it's calling, DC almost always has to be hooked up correctly. In other words, positive to positive and negative to negative. So this is the negative side, and this is going to be my positive side. Now you may be asking that this is a 12 volt transformer. Right here it says 12 volts, right there on it. It'll focus on there. It'll focus on there. It says 12 volts, right there. 
Where is it? 12 volts, right there. Okay, but when I test it, it reads 16 volts. You're gonna find that's a common thing, that these put out more voltage uh, than what they actually say. I've always found that if I have a 12 volt transformer and I hook it up to something that needs 12 volts, even though it may read 16, it, it'll still work just fine. It's not gonna cause a problem. Now, you know, you just have to take your chances with that. Also, it's running 16, and, uh, 16 volts when it's not using any power. So a lot of times then when you hook this up to something, it actually drops down from 16 closer to the 12 that it's actually supposed to be providing. Okay, so I hope that gets rid of some of the mystery in transformers and how to pick the right one for your project. Remember, it's mainly about your voltage. So is it 12 volts? Is it AC or DC? And what's the polarity? How many amps on there? It's really easy to burn these up because most of them are around this size of like 200 milliamps, which won't power very much of anything. So be sure that your amperage is high enough to carry the load that you're doing so you don't burn up your transformer. So I hope that gets rid of some of the mystery in these. And as usual, thank you for watching.